Hey everyone, I just wanted to make this video because we're less than 60 days from open enrollment for health insurance for the year 2021. During this time period, a lot of us end up getting a whole lot of phone calls, emails, things through the mail, trying to get us to buy health insurance. Many times we don't even know who these people are or where these things originated from. Another thing a lot of people will do is to start searching online for cheap, affordable health insurance. And what they'll do ultimately is put their information into these websites without reading the fine print. The whole purpose of this video is to help you to see what actually happens when you do that. So a lot of times when people go to these sites, they're thinking, that they're going directly to a health insurance company and that that's what, who they're gonna be dealing with. But really, it's not what you think. In the video that I created, you're gonna see what actually happens when you sign up for health insurance or what people call Obamacare, when you do it either online, through an email, when people call you on the phone. What you're gonna find out is who is actually getting your information and you'll actually see whether or not you can get cheap health insurance, especially if you don't qualify for a subsidy. So let's get started. This is actually a copy of the video that I made. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that for you. And then in the end, I'll just give a few comments. It is kind of long, but the reason why it's long is because I really want you to see what happens when you enter your information in these sites and actually who they are and what they do. So a lot of times we end up getting these emails from companies promising that they can get us health insurance when we're outside of the open enrollment period. This one is dealing with open enrollment 2019, which actually doesn't start until November the 1st, and in most places runs until December the 15th. It just really depends on what state you're in. Now here it's saying that we can compare coverage and pricing from top providers today. But what I decided to do, because a lot of people, they wanna know what actually happens when you use one of these emails in order to get a health insurance quote or to search around to see what's available. So let's scroll down to the bottom here and it's saying that we can get free quotes. So in order to find out what quotes are available, we're gonna to have to go ahead and click get free quotes. But just to let you know, when you do click on this, what is showing here is that there are gonna be different rates and different fees. Actually, when you sign up for a health insurance plan through one of the companies or if it's a plan that is ACA compliant, there aren't gonna be any fees that are included other than your premiums. But a lot of the companies that they're gonna be showing you do sometimes charge what they call an enrollment fee. Sometimes that can be a short-term plan or one of the limited benefit plans or any other type of plan. And with some companies, in order to get their health insurance, life insurance, or whatever, you will have to join an association in order to get that plan. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, we're going to click on quotes to find out what actually happens when you go into one of these sites. So actually right now we're in the site, and this is, again, going to help us to find quotes for open enrollment 2019. And what we'll do, we'll do it for my residential state, put in a quote for Alexander, Virginia, which is 304. And are you currently insured? We're going to do these to try to make it simple. So we're going to say, yes, we are currently insured. And then later we're going to click start comparing quotes. But before we do that, We'll just examine what else is on this site right here. And what they claim that they're going to be able to do is to give you a hassle-free process. Now, a hassle-free process is relevant. It just depends on what you consider to be hassle-free. To me, hassle-free is putting in a zip code, and then I just get a list of prices and just choose whatever I want from there. But what you're going to see is this process is not going to be that simple.
Then it says you can get lower monthly premiums. Actually, the only way to get lower monthly premiums with an Affordable Care Act plan is if you're a person that qualifies for subsidies. People that are unsubsidized cannot get lower monthly premiums because there really are no lower monthly premiums for an ACA or Affordable Care Act compliant plan anywhere in the country. Then it says you can get quotes in minutes. We're going to see whether or not that's actually true. Going a little further down, it says health insurance buyer's guide, how to save on health insurance with the Affordable Care Act. So if you want more information, you can go into continue reading, which we're not going to do that. And then also it gives you information on how to avoid health insurance scams, which this is not really a scam, but you do have to be careful with the types of insurance that they may be offering you through a site like this. Then it's going to give you a checklist for selecting a health insurance plan. If you want more information, you can go into that and you can actually see what happens when you go on that. And actually one day we may do that just to see what's the information that they are giving us. But just to save time here, I just want to let you know that this 2019 open enrollment site, they actually let you know, in which the majority of these sites are, are online lead generators. What is an online lead generator? What they're actually going to be doing is collecting personal information from you. Then what they're going to do is match you with a business that offers products and or services of interest which means you'll have an opportunity to choose things that may not even be health insurance. They may ask you, do you want to get life insurance? Are you interested in dental insurance? Are you interested in vision insurance? Then what they're going to do is give that information to people that offer those services. As we mentioned, this is a lead generating site. Then it says open enrollment 2019 is not a licensed broker carrier or direct provider of life insurance services. In order to perform the matching services and enable you to secure a quote from a provider, open enrollment 2019 may require you to submit health information. So we'll stop right there. If they're asking you to submit health information, that lets you know immediately that a lot of the places that they're going to be giving your information to are not selling Affordable Care Act compliant plans. With a plan that is compliant through the Affordable Care Act, they do not have to get your health information. Why? Because plans that are compliant with the Affordable Care Act are guaranteed issue plans. They cannot ask you for health information in order for you to get that plan. So this automatically lets you know a lot of the things that they're going to be offering you are not Affordable Care Act compliant plans. So if that's exactly what you're looking for, this is probably not the place where you want to start searching for your health insurance. Because if you do enter your information into the site, like I mentioned, it's a lead generating site. What they're going to do is sell your information to lead generation companies. What those companies do is they sell that information to agents or whoever signs up for their site for something between $15 and $30 per name. Once they get that information and they sell it, they can sell it to up to eight to 10 agents or even more. Some of the companies also sell that information to what they call resellers, which are also their partners. And those resellers can also, again, sell your information to up to eight to 10 agents. Those companies a lot of times sell you that they sell old leads or what they call aged leads. These can be leads that stayed in the first company system for anywhere from two to 30 days or up to 365 days. And they just keep selling your information. Now, again, it says down here that your responses and information that you choose to submit in order to obtain a quote will help improve the accuracy of your quote results. Understand 
acknowledge and agree that the information you choose to provide to open enrollment 2019 will be collected, stored, and transmitted only to open enrollment 29's partners. So we'll stop there. So as you see, they're going to collect your information, they're going to store your information, and then they will only transmit it to their partners. Later on, we're going to see who are these partners, how many are there, and how many of them can get your information. But it says that the information is only going to be given to those partners solely for the purpose of matching you with business that can provide you with quotes. So make sure to compare rates and fees. Now, why are they saying compare rates and fees? Because like I mentioned before, a lot of these companies are not Affordable Care Act compliant companies. And they will either charge you what they call an enrollment fee. Some of them also have you to sign up for an association in order to get their insurance plan. Sometimes the association will give you additional benefits, but the point is you may be charged a fee in order to get that health insurance plan that you want. Then it says that these fees can vary between health insurance providers and may depend on the state in which you reside. So that's just something to keep in mind. So we're gonna go back up to the top and what we're gonna do, we're gonna click to see if we can go ahead and get a quote. So let's start comparing quotes. And we're gonna see if they're gonna make it easy for us to go ahead and compare a quote. Now we're gonna make this person in their 50s just to make it realistic, you know. We're gonna let them be born in August, the 15th and the year we're gonna choose is 1967, just to make sure that they are definitely in their 50s. So it'll be 1967. And we're gonna make this very simple. It's just gonna be one person and annual income. We're gonna pick something in the middle. So at that income level, the person would definitely still qualify for a subsidy. If they're closer to the $46,000 range, it's gonna be a very small subsidy. So they're still gonna be paying quite a bit for their health insurance, depending on what plan they choose. So we're gonna put in a name and this person's name is gonna be Trina Petty. And her street address is gonna be 365 Dove Place. And so they've already began collecting the information because it already automatically populated for Alexandria. So let's give her an email address. So it'll be t.petty at Okay, not sure what's going on there. Okay, and phone number. Okay, I put a comma in there instead of a period. So we're gonna choose a phone number from a list of companies that call me all the time. And when you call them back, of course, it's not a real number. And we're gonna be done. So just to let you know at the bottom, where it says by clicking done, get your quote. When you click that button, 
you consent to receive marketing communications via automatic telephone dialing systems, pre-recorded calls, text messages, and or emails from open enrollment 2019 and one or more of its marketing partners. So when you click that button, that's actually what you're consenting to do. So if you don't wanna go through that, it says here at the bottom, you can actually call them at their 800 number, which they will go ahead and get all of your information, but you still don't know whether or not they're gonna store that information. So that's just something to keep in mind because once you give out your information, you don't really have control of it anymore. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna find out who these marketing partners are. Because remember on the first screen, it said that they can share that information with any of their marketing partners. So let's click that and see who these marketing partners are. Okay, so now we have a nice list. So here we see all the names of the marketing partners that they work with. And we'll just keep going down so that you can see who they are. And these are all of the marketing partners that they work with. Now, what I want to mention to you, as you look at a lot of these marketing partners, they're not even health insurance companies. If you look at NetQuote, NetQuote is a lead generation company. So they can sell your information and share it with NetQuote. If you go further down, we're gonna look at another one, which is very obvious, Precise Leads. And you can actually look these companies up on the internet. Precise Leads is another lead generation company that they can share your information with. Quote Wiz another lead generation company. This is the most popular one, select quote. When you give your information also to them, they're getting their information from a lead generation company. And actually select quote is a lead generation company because they're just gonna put you with an agent that sells all of the various insurances that they mention on their site. So as you go down, you get another one, solid quote, not a health insurance company. And then of course, some of the ones on here are health insurance companies because some health insurance companies actually provide leads to their agents. But again, you see all of these companies and they say they can share it with their partners with an S, which means that your information can be sold as you see here, who knows how many times and who knows how many phone calls you'll be getting. And that doesn't matter if your name is on the do not call list because by clicking quote or to get your quotes, you're actually giving them permission to call you. And by law, they can legally do that for up to 90 days. So now we're going into their quote generation and I'm a good solid 51 years old. So it says compare quotes and save up to 30%. So let's see if this is going to be really quick. Now, normally when you do this yourself, you would just go through quick and click where it says, see your quotes and you'll just do that real quick. But the purpose of this video is to help you to see what actually happens and to explain to you what you're going to experience when you try to get a quote from one of these sites. So now it says, last step, we promise it'll be quick. Really, will it be quick? Now it says that you can complete this in probably two to three minutes. So that automatically lets you know that it's not gonna be something where you click see my quotes and you're gonna see a list of prices. That's not gonna happen. Another thing, if a person is looking for health insurance through the Affordable Care Act, if you notice some of these places, that have been down here, like Genworth is not a health insurance company. They basically deal in annuities today. Gerber Life is not a health insurance company. And a lot of these companies that you see down here do not sell health insurance that's compliant with the Affordable Care Act because 
they're simply not health insurance companies. Cigna, Aetna, they're health insurance companies. Assurant no longer sells health insurance because they actually went out of business for selling individual health insurance at the beginning of the Affordable Care Act. AIG, life insurance company. So that's just to let you know that a lot of places that are going to get your information are not seeking to sell you health insurance. So now we're going to complete the quote and we're going to see what happens and what they're going to ask us for next. So now we're on this page and you notice you still don't have your quote. So in order to get quotes, you're going to have to give them all of this information. Interesting thing is when you do fill out an application for an Affordable Care Act plan, they will ask you certain questions. They will ask you for your birth date. And so we're going to go ahead and put in the birth date for And it'll be the 15th. And she was born in 1967. I'm going to use that same information. No, we're not shopping for a minor. And height will make her five feet, five inches tall and give her a realistic weight. Let's make her 187 and we'll continue. Now, height and weight is not something that an Affordable Care Act plan will ever ask you. So that's another clue that you're going to be offered things that are not Affordable Care Act plans. And they've already stored this information. Um, we don't have a qualifying event which a lot of people searching for health insurance throughout the year don't. But these are the qualifying events. If you just got married, just got divorced, lost your health insurance, moved to another location, usually out of the county or to another state. If you just move across the street, um, that may or may not involve you because some places now, if it's the same zone, they may not let you choose a plan. But if you do move, um, it just depends. Go ahead and and see if you qualify to switch your plan. Um, if you're born or just had a child or just adopted a child, lost your job or changed jobs, then you can actually make an adjustment there. So now, it asks, do we have any of these diseases to make it simple? We'll say no. Do we smoke? No. Are we pregnant? No. Do we play any extreme sports? No. Are we looking for an Affordable Care Act plan? Let's just say yes. Last step. So I said I was looking for an Affordable Care Act plan. And I filled out all that information. Now, when I said that I didn't have one of the conditions in order to qualify for an Affordable Care Act plan, it should have just taken me to a page and said that I don't qualify at this time. But since it's taking me further, it's going to give me options to purchase plans that are not ACA compliant. And so we already looked at their marketing partners. We're going to go ahead and put in Trina's information. And we'll just click Trina and it'll just fill all that out for us. And we'll give Trina a last name. Her name was Petty. And Trina's email address. And as you notice here, it asked me, do I want mine in the next 30 days, which I'm going to go ahead and pick yes. And this shows that they're going to also try to get you to sign up for other types of insurance. And when you click any of these, let's say they sell your information to a company that promotes life insurance. 
you're going to get calls from lots of life insurance agents. If you want vision insurance, same deal and the same deal with dental insurance. And then again, it gives the marketing partners. And so we get another list of marketing partners, and this is going to be for first quote health. So the thing is, we're not even sure if we're still dealing with 2019 health insurance quotes, because now we're on another company's site. And then we see here in leads.com, all of these different places that show you that a lot of the companies that are that can get your name through these companies, again, are not life insurance companies. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the quote now that we've seen the partners. And so it's going to process our information and let's see if they're going to instantly give us a quote. So our information has been processed. So it says your quote is ready. Click connect me to speak with the licensed agent to review your quote. Just click connect me and your phone will ring. It's that simple. So we're not going to click connect me. We're going to click get out of here, <laughs> which we click the X. Now, as you see on this page, you see a list of companies. And these are companies where your information can go. So if you want to quote, you can click on any one of these. Now, this is Obamacare Health Insurance Online. And it says, get the cheapest rates in Virginia, compare plans from all major providers, Aetna, Blue Cross, Cigna, HealthNet, Kaiser, and more. Now, what I want to let you know, Aetna is not offering health insurance on the exchanges, nor do they offer individual health insurance in the state of Virginia. So the question is, why would they be showing me something from a company that actually is supposed to be selling Obamacare or, or Affordable Care Act health insurance. And all of these here, as we see, Aguile, they claim that they can offer health plan options under $99 a month. Not even a 27-year-old buying a plan from any company on the exchanges can get a plan for under $99. So that again, lets you know that these plans that are going to be offered through these places are not ACA compliant. And then we see another one down here where it says that they start at $59 a month. And at least this one right here is pretty upfront about it. And this one here, because it says, Choose from PPO, HMO, and short-term plans. So that, again, lets you know that these most likely are not Affordable Care Act plans. And then this one here that's kind of comical, it says zero monthly premium health insurance. So there really are no health insurance plans that you can pay no premiums for. But there are things that you can do where you don't have to pay a monthly premium. And I'll probably do another video that'll talk about those things. But since we were looking for what we call an Obamacare plan, what I will do is go ahead and click to view my quote to see what happens. So this is redirecting me to Health Insurance Online, which is actually another company that's going to try and get my information. So they've already saved my information, but the interesting thing here is the income is 41,000 to 47. In the first one, we had picked a different amount. We picked from 29 up to 47, but we'll go ahead and leave it at 41. Yeah, we'll go ahead. No, let's move it up. We'll move it to the 35 to 41. And it says in the last 60 days, did you lose health coverage? So we put no, we did not. 
because we still have health insurance. So let's see what happens when we submit, but let's go to the bottom first to see if they have any disclaimers. Okay. So this is, these are the things that you need to look at right from the beginning. This little box right here is going to be very important. So it says, by clicking the submit button, I expressly consent by electronic signature to receive communications via automatic telephone dialing system and, or by artificial pre-recorded message, email, or by text message from this website or multiple partner companies. We're not going to click it because we already know that all of them are working together and all of them are going to eventually sell your information and they can give it to anyone that's on their list because by clicking that button, you're giving your consent. Then it says, by completing the quotes form and, or calling the number listed above, you will be directed to a partner who can answer your questions and provide information about health plan options. Not all partners offer the same plans. Possible plan options include, but are not limited to major medical plans, short-term plans, Christian plans. Christian plans are these healthcare sharing ministries, which is are not health insurance plans, but what you do is you pool your money with other people and you pay each other's um, health insurance expenses or your health care expenses, not health insurance. Um, Christian plans, then it says health sharing plans. Now there is a difference between Christian plans and health sharing plans because there are a lot of health sharing plans that are popping up that are not connected with any religious organization. But they kind of mirror those plans because they're not health insurance, but it's still an organization where the members pool their money and then they all use that money to pay other members health care expenses. So you have to be careful with those because some of them are having issues legally so I would say be careful when you do choose one of those plans. Also, it mentioned fixed indemnity plans, which again is a plan that just pays you a fixed amount. And once they pay that fixed amount, you're done and you owe the rest of the expenses. So it says we encourage customers to shop around and explore all their options before making an informed decision. But a lot of people, they hear what they wanna hear. They don't make an informed decision. Then when they go to use whatever they purchase, they end up having issues. Now down here, this is another disclaimer that Health Insurance Online has. And it says, by completing the form above, you agree to receive periodic recommendations, reminders, and personal content by email or text message. If phone number entered is a mobile number, approximately 12 text messages per year. So what they're telling you is we can text you, we can email you, we can do this periodically, and you are agreeing to it. So it says, we are not an insurance agency and are not affiliated with any plan. Again, they're letting you know they're not affiliated with anyone. So this is actually the third lead generation site that we've been redirected to by clicking that quote button. Now, again, like I mentioned, it says that they're not affiliated with any plan. It says we connect individuals with insurance providers and other affiliates, collectively partners, to give you, the consumer, an opportunity to get information about insurance and connect with agents. By completing the quotes form or calling the number listed above, you will be directed to a partner that can connect you to an appropriate insurance agent who can answer your questions and discuss plan options. And like we mentioned before, any partner on that list can receive this information. Whether they're paying for it, I can't really say because I'm not one of those lead generation companies, but I'm pretty sure that they do pay something to get that information. Once they get that information, they can either sell it to other agents, 
many, many times up to eight to 10 or however many times they decide that they want to share your information. So basically you're giving your information away so it can be sold and then you can get quotes from however many people they decide they want to give it to. Then it says products and services are provided exclusively by our partners, which is anyone that was on that list, but not all offer the same plan options. Possible options that may be offered include, but are not limited to, ACA qualified plans, Medicare plans, short-term plans, Christian health sharing plans, and fixed indemnity plans. Descriptions are for informational purposes only and subject to change. Now, do you really want to sell your information to a company or have it sold by a company just for informational purposes? Then it says, we encourage you to shop around and explore all your options. We are not affiliated with or endorsed by any government entity or agency. So even if their site looks like or makes you think that they might be, they do have that down there letting you know that they're not. And the one that we clicked on was Obamacare health insurance plan. So most people seeing that might automatically think I'm getting an Obamacare plan. And a lot of times people do not scroll down to the bottom and read all this stuff, nor do they click that little button right there to find out who is really getting your information. So again, we're going to go back up here. We're going to submit our information and we're going to see if they're going to give us a quote. So just click submit and let's see what happens. Again, it brings us back to basically the same thing. They're looping us around. And if we click on another one, basically the same thing is going to happen. They already have our information. So let's just try another one. Let's try this one here that looks like companies that offer plans in the Alexandria area. So we're going to click go and see what happens. So it's looping us around again. It has taken us back to first quote health. So you see how they're all working together. If you click complete quote, we're going to see what happens. And this will probably be the last time that we do this. So now it took us back to the beginning and it asked us to put in our information again. So since they do give us an option of frequently asked questions, because why do you keep looping me around to this one site? Again, it takes us back to another site, which is actually their personal site, First Quote Health, as we see here above. And it asks, what is First Quote Health? And so here it says, First Quote Health is your free one-stop shop for all your health insurance needs. Well, we haven't even gotten to see any quotes on anything that we need. Then it says, we make comparing health insurance quotes fast and easy by matching you with an experienced agent. They do not match you with an experienced agent. They collect your information and they sell it to an agent for, like I mentioned, between $15 and $30, sometimes cheaper if they're age leads. But the fact are, they're collecting your information to sell it. So it says, once you're matched with the health agent, you will go over all your options. They'll go over all their options with you. Whether you're looking for an HMO, PPO plan, or something in between, your agent will help you to find exactly what you're looking for. That's the reason why you came to this site. But because this is not a health insurance agency, they are a lead generation company. They're going to sell your information to an agent or a company or another lead generation company. And then they're going to contact you and then you'll be able to get the quotes that you want. You've seen that this is actually what happens. You click get quotes, but it's not going to take you to any quotes. It's going to just collect your information. So it's a big data mining um, information scheme, I guess you would call it. But that is actually what happens when you look at one of these sites. Now, they ask, is First Health legitimate? It says, yes, First Health quote is not an insurance company or an agency. We simply provide you with all the tools you need to find and compare your health insurance options. 
So just thinking about this, they're going to collect your information. They put you in touch with what they call here real agents. So they do give you information. They do send you to real agents, so to speak. But just a word of advice, if you really want to get a quote, health insurance agents, the ones in your local area, they will not bite. If you don't want to be giving away your information so it can be sold over and over and over and over again to their partners with an S, look up a local agent give your information to that local agent if you give your information on their site you actually would be able to deal directly with that agent if that agent doesn't satisfy you look for another agent in your local area you can actually go to your exchange and look up local agents where you can contact them directly without using one of these lead generation sites that is just a third party to make money and sell your information to however many people they choose to. It asks, is first quote health free? Yes, it's free for you to give you them your information so they can sell it to someone else. It asks, how do you sign up? As we've seen before, just put in your information, they sell it to whoever they want, and then you could get however many calls depending on how many people that they've sold it to. It asks, what are health insurance agents? I think most people already know what a health insurance agent is, but it says health insurance agents are health professionals who are licensed at the state level. It says typically health insurance agents represent a single company where brokers may represent a handful of companies. Just to make it clear, health insurance agents or a captive agent is an agent that will sell for one company. Some brokers also call themselves agents sometimes, but it says that they may represent a handful of companies or a lot of them represent a lot of companies. Or if there's a need where you may have a particular health issue, like if they're pushing you to a life insurance agent, if you happen to check that box saying, you're interested in life insurance also, they can actually get appointed with a company that can fit your needs. Now it asks, how can an agent help me? They'll basically help you to pick out a health insurance plan. And we'll go further down and it says, how do I compare health insurance plans? Um, if you work with a legitimate agent in your area, they'll be able to help you to see how you can do that. Then it asks, how can you sign up for a plan? It says you can do that right away. You can get a quote anytime, day or night. Just give us a call or enter your information in the homepage and we'll of course sell it to someone so that they can contact you or you can call the number and talk to someone that way. So it says, what companies can you choose from? You saw who their partners were and depending on the agent that you talk to, um, they may have other options available for you that were not on that list, but most of the companies that sell health insurance nationwide were on that list. But if they weren't, again, that agent will let you know what companies they're affiliated with. It asks, is my information private? So this one we want to read. It says, we understand that you may hesitate. And after seeing this video, you'll know why you'll be hesitant to share your information. It says, we understand that you might be hesitant to share your personal information online. There's a reason for that. It says, we use advanced online security measures to make sure your information will not fall in the wrong hands. Well, because they're sharing it with their partners, we don't know what their partners will do. But when it says it won't fall into the wrong hands, when you came to this site, you expected that this site is going to give you the information that you need. They kind of do by selling your information to others who will provide you the information that you came to this site to get. So the best thing to do is to go directly, like I mentioned, to a local health insurance agent who will do the same thing that this site would have done. But the difference is, your information will not be sold. Now, 
this one here, it says, what if I already have health insurance? Because when we did this quote, we put in, we have health insurance. It says, it doesn't hurt to compare your option. Insurance rates change every year and so do your health insurance needs. Then it says, for example, if you got married, recently had a baby, it's worth seeing what other options are available to you. Or you may just want to see if you can find a cheaper plan through another carrier. Now, this link that we clicked was the $99 one. Again, there are no Affordable Care Act or ACA compliant plans that are $99. Even if you are in your 20s, you cannot find one. If you find one, you can let us know by placing the comment below. Now it says, how do I contact First Health Quote? So we're not even on that original company site anymore, the 29 health insurance plans. It says that you can give them a call anytime. And then again, it asks, why do we need your information? And it says, no two people have the same health needs. But again, like we mentioned throughout this video, if you want an ACA compliant plan, they do not need your health information. So again that's what you're actually doing when you go to one of these sites it does not give you the quotes that you want and if you click on any of the things asking you do you want to get health insurance it's going to keep looping you around and what we'll do just to show that i'm going to go ahead and put in trina's zip code which is gonna be the 22304. Actually, this is for the same exact site, so it doesn't matter where I put the zip code. And we're just gonna put it in 22304. And this is just for entertainment, get quote. And then we're gonna end this video because you're gonna see, it says, do you live in Alexandria City County? Yes, I live here. And then we're gonna see is it going to give us what this is actually where you end up so that helps you to see what's going to happen when you go into one of these sites trying to get health insurance so i hope you enjoyed that video and as i mentioned it is very long but i really wanted you to see what happens when you put your name in forms that are online or click on a link in an email to try to get health insurance. What many people fail to do is not read the fine print, nor do they click on the links where it talks about the partners and the other people that'll be getting your information. So I hope you learned something from the video. And like I mentioned, it was kind of long, but the reason why I did it that way is because I really wanted people to see what happens when you go online searching for health insurance or when you get an email and you click on the link to buy it or even sometimes when you receive a phone call from someone when you state that you agree to their terms you still don't know who all of the partners are that are going to get your information so it's so important for you to see that and that's the reason why i did the video this way so i hope that you found it found the information helpful. And this year, when you decide to purchase a health insurance plan, I urge you to go to healthcare.gov if you're in a federal exchange state, search for an agent that's certified in your state that sells Affordable Care Act plans or what people call Obamacare. Or if you have a state-based exchange, same thing, go there and search for an agent that's already certified on the exchange. That way you'll know exactly who's getting your information. You'll only get a call from one agent. Well, actually you would be calling that agent yourself, but at least you'll be able to keep track of who's getting your information and you won't be giving it away for free so it can be put up for sale to wherever. So it's just something for you to think about. So I hope this information was helpful. And so this is my information here. And 
I'm a medical cost containment specialist. I'm certified on the Maryland Exchange and also on the Federal Exchange in Virginia. And what I do is I help people not only find health insurance, but I also help you to find other interesting ways to be able to save on healthcare costs, whether you have insurance or not. So if you wanna get in touch with me, this is my um, contact information. The phone number that you see there is actually my phone messaging system. And during open enrollment, a lot of times things get really busy and I'm not able to answer my direct line, which you see above me in the picture. People can contact me on that line, but the problem during open enrollment is if I'm on the phone with a client, I don't answer the phone or cut their phone call short. So I encourage people, if they wanna get in touch with me, to use the messaging phone line, which is the 703-947-0325, and leave a message. All messages are always answered. And if it's a day when I'm working from home, you usually get a call back within the next minute or two if I'm not doing anything, but you always get a call back within that same day, or I will shoot you a message to let you know that I did get your call, and then I will call you at the very beginning of the following day. Um, if you call my direct line, you can leave a message there too, but like I mentioned, if I'm on the line, I will not pick up because I don't cut clients short um, to answer incoming calls. That's why I have the two numbers. So hopefully this video was useful to you and I will see you on the next one.